Hey everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go, check out my video, if you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you so much for this meal that I'm about to receive. I ask that you would bless it, that it may be nourishing to my body. In Jesus' name, I thank and praise you for it all. Amen. So, hey, everybody, I am back with another video um, right now I am doing mussels and I am repurposing why because yesterday I did a video um, where you saw the crab the king crab the snow crab the mussels the corn the potatoes um, that was just yesterday so that was on Sunday so it is Tuesday when you see this um, but it's actually Monday that I'm doing this video so how do you repurpose your seafood? What do you guys do? Well, I decided to repurpose mine in the form of ramen. And that's exactly what this is. And it is my leftover mussels. It is the, the boiled eggs that I had. It's some of the crab meat that I cracked and I had, I put in here. And it's the mussels in the beloved sauce with some scallions sprinkled around on top, a little parsley, a little red pepper flakes. And I am about to get in it because I'm hungry. You know how I do. When I work, I need something quick and easy. How quick and easy was this? Mm. And it is good. Mm-hmm. Spicy. Look at there. Look how that crab meat and that ramen got inside that muscle like that. Mm. Cut your bite, family. There you go. Mm mm mm. That ramen just soaked up that B-Love sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know my question. What you got? What you cook? What you eat now? I am drinking, as always, one of my LaCroix waters. This one is the pineapple strawberry. In my Game of Thrones glass, no less. Game of Thrones aired last night. It was good. I stayed up so I could watch it. I'm telling you, this is a quick and easy way to repurpose leftover seafood. Mm. And very delicious. Mm-hmm. 
this video ain't gonna be long because I am going in. Look at that crab meat. More crab meat. Okay, so good. I mean, it really does. Look at all that. Can you see it? Mussels, that crab meat, some ginger, some onion, some um, green onion. And then those pepper flakes, and then it's got the bee love sauce on it. Mmm, that's good. This is delicious, and it is filling, and it is quick. If you've got some leftover seafood, some shrimp, some crab, some mussels, whatever it is, go ahead and drop it in a bowl of ramen. Tell you what, it's good. Mm, it's good, especially if you got some beloved sauce that you already cooked your seafood in. And it just flavors that ramen. Mm. And this is shrimp flavor. Oh, sorry, y'all. Spit. Forgive me. This is so good. This is shrimp flavored ramen. But you can use whatever flavor you want. It's good.
You can use the flavor packet that comes with it. I still used it, even though I had all the seasoning from the Beloved sauce. I still use that flavor packet. But if you want to cut down on some sodium, you don't have to. If you've got seafood that was in the Beloved sauce, look at that. Look how all of that goodness, the crab and the ramen and the onions just sit inside that shell like that. Mmm. Just a, just a little pocket of goodness. <laughs> I see too because I added the extra pepper flakes. Man. You got to try this. You guys really should try this. Last one. Lemon seed. Mm -hmm. Scraping all that crab meat up from the bottom. Ginger. Well, you guys already know. If you don't, you're about to find out. I'm drinking this juice. I am drinking this hot, spicy, delicious juice. Sorry. I'm not letting it go to waste. Mm, mm, mm. I wish I had some more seafood to put in here. It's that good. It is that good. And it's not that buttery. Like Beloved Sauce is usually really buttery. I mean, this has the juice or the broth from actually cooking the mussels. And when I cook my mussels, I use chicken broth. I use white wine, green onion, garlic, um, excuse me, parsley. I think that's it. 
but then the juices from the muscle when they cook that releases and it makes a nice broth along with all the other things and then I just took some beloved sauce when I made these mussels yesterday and drizzled it over the top and had them soaking in the bowl of beloved sauce so this is not really a greasy buttery broth it's really a nice light broth it's good Mm, still getting little bits of crab meat. Man, it's good. My goodness. I'm going to make this again. I mean, I made this just on a humbug, just, you know, trying to get something put together real quick. But, hmm, now that I know how good it is, I'll be making it on purpose. <laughs> I mean, it was made on purpose, but it was just something really quick. Because I add my seafood to ramen, but I'd never done the mussels to ramen. I'll be doing it again. So much flavor in that. Mm, mm, mm. Well, member of the Clean Plate Club. So, So you guys, that was a quick one. Ooh, my belly is full and I'm happy. That was good. That was really good. So I'm gonna bring this video to a close. And as always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Tell all your friends and family about D's Delicious Bites. And until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.